guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today, we're going to go over my balance change wish list, but I also want to share some news with you guys because my list is going to be uh, altered a little bit based on this new information that actually just came out a couple hours ago from the time of this recording. So let's look at these screenshots here. Four of them from Seth, aka the Rumham. He is the balance guru, the designer on the Clash Royale Supercell team. So he said two hours Hours ago, in response to somebody asking about the Expo, what are they going to do about Expo? There's no doubt about it. It was uh, originally on my list of cards that did need a buff. However, it's not going to make the list because the Rumham says, as you guys can see, we looked at the stats of Siege, or the state, excuse me, of Siege cards. I don't foresee a direct buff to Expo, but rather to the other cards in the deck while reigning in beatdown in bridge spam decks. So what does that mean to me? The biggest, uh, well, we'll get to my list in a second. So no expo buff is what it definitely means. Number two is, uh, responding to Monk Clash a few days ago, he said, I read it, I did read it, trying to decide what to do with the Tesla Inferno Tower Furnace in Tombstone. All four may not be changed, but I am looking at defensive buildings this month. Meaning that, well, he's going to balance defensive buildings. The, the four that he mentioned, he said that not, not all four may be touched, but definitely going to be taking a look at those defensive units, the spawners, the, the tombstone, and of course the Tesla Inferno Tower in Furnace as well. Uh, the next one here, six hours ago now, from the time of this recording at least, uh, he says the November 5th balance changes will be the last one before CRL World Finals. We will be addressing a few powerful cards that are giving players tools to change the meta but we don't want a massive to massively upend everything some cards we want to change will wait until the December on purpose interesting here he says the big ones will be royal recruits in freeze we have plans for both these cards but in the interest of competitive integrity both changes will be uh, in the December balance changes after the CRL finals instead of risking them uh, dunking on this year's highest stakes tournament so Royal Recruits, another card on my list, guys, will not be on the list because the Rumham said he wants to wait for Freeze. Freeze? Freeze is a weird card because a tournament level standard, a little bit underpowered on ladder, especially the closer you get to max freeze, uh, an incredibly broken card in the opinion of yours truly. So I would expect maybe a rework on Freeze, but Royal Recruits, man... Oh, still no love for Royal Recruits. I know not everybody loves the card, but still, man, they are the worst card in the game right now. It's 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 a shame what happened, the trajectory of the Royal Recruits, in my opinion, how they went from dominant to dead, dead, nowhere in between. Do you guys agree with the fact that Rumham sees cards that need balance? He just pointed two of them out. He wants to balance freeze and he wants to balance the recruits, but he's going to hold off on doing so just because of a competitive tournament. Obviously only affecting a few hundred players and of course the, the, the much larger audience watching in, uh, while there are millions of players who would like those cards maybe balanced earlier when they deem it appropriate. So I, I throw it to you guys. Do you guys agree with this philosophy that they're holding back on balance changes for CRL, to, for the conclusion of CRL, which is a big $1 million tournament? Me personally, I'm okay with it. I am more, really into the competitive scene, and I, would, I wouldn't like recruits to be incredibly OP, and then that's all we see in the finals. But I wanted to, again, throw the question to you guys. Are you guys cool with that, or is it something that maybe some of you guys just want them to balance cards when they deem it fit? not necessarily holding off because of competitive engagements. So again, guys, originally, as I said, Expo and Recruits were on my list, but I removed them. Both cards, I think, need a buff, but because they're definitely not coming, why waste my energy including them on the list? Instead, I found two new cards based on the information we already discussed to put on my list. So here we go. It's going to be starting with nerfs. The first thing I want to throw out there is I personally would nerf every single spell in the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming out, I'm dropping bombs on you guys to start out this video. I think the spells have gotten a little bit OP, a little bit out of control as a collective. Now, not every single spell, like arrows and snowball, they don't really need to be nerfed, but I think that in general, I would probably decrease spell damage on tower by another, say, 5%. A pretty minor, small nerf, but I see the game slowly but steadily 
uh, going in the direction of having a ton of spells in every deck and every spell is incredibly important and baiting out spells is incredibly important. I just want to give kind of a power check to spells. So I would across the board go ahead and nerf all spells by 5% on to on uh, tower damage. I think that's important. I, I, what do you, how do you guys feel about the spell, you know, controversy here? Well, it's not a controversy until you make it one, Ash. But uh, personally, I, I think that there are a power creep on spells getting a little bit too out of control. So a little bit of a nerf to every single spell in the game. Now, other nerfs, Royal Ghost is, I'm going to throw a stat at you guys here. Royal Ghost, Tombstone, and Bar Barrel are the only three cards at tournament level standard with a higher than 20% use rate and a higher than 55% win rate. Only those three cards. And out of those three cards, personally, I think only one of them probably needs a small nerf. And it's the Royal Ghost. And I'm one of the biggest fans in the world of Royal Ghost. He is my favorite card in the game. I do not want to kill him. But I think, again, might need a little power check there. Maybe a little bit of a stat decrease. I think he holds the most versatility, the most strength in three elixir out of any card in the game. That's just my personal opinion. Two people just unsubscribed. Huge Royal Ghost fans. Nah, Ash. I ain't hearing that, bro. Boom. Boom. Uh, but in all serious, guys, in all seriousness, I, I do think the Royal Ghost needs a little bit of a nerf. Now, moving on on the nerf list, uh, based on what the Rumham said, he talked about nerfing beatdown in helping and uh, nerfing uh, bridge spam. So nerfing bridge spam, nerfing beatdown, what do you think that means? I think personally, uh, Battle Ram is gonna be seeing a nerf, and that's probably a good thing. It's the only card that you see in you know the giant Battle Ram deck, Three Musketeer Battle Ram deck, Bridge Bam Battle Ram deck. So I'm gonna call for maybe a very small nerf to the Battle Ram. Now, what other cards in Beatdown could the Rumham possibly be talking about? Potentially the Baby Dragon. Even though me personally, I think in a vacuum, Baby Dragon does not need a nerf. Maybe even the Prince. But me, personally, I think the Prince is actually maybe a little bit on the powerful side, but it's not boxing out other cards such as Valkyrie and Knight. I'm still seeing those cards, so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and err on the side of not balancing the Prince. So my only two nerfs are going to be the Battle Ram and the Royal Ghost, and then plus all the spells. Now moving on to my buffs, because if I have two nerfs, I have six buffs, guys. And the first one's going to be the Bomber. They kind of alluded to the fact that they're going to rework the Bomber to two elixir in the last balance change poll i think that would have been kind of interesting to see the bomber is a tough card oh those two guys subscribed back uh, I knew, I knew you guys were only kidding. It's all good, man. That's distracting in the in the corner of my <laughs> of my purview here. But anyway, guys, bomber. I would like to see reworked. I would like to see him cost two elixir. Try him out, maybe a little bit, a little bit less on the damage, but maybe uh, a little bit more versatility in that two elixir slot. I would like to see that happen. Next up is Inferno Tower and the the Tesla. We'll talk about both of the defensive units that I do think both need a buff. The Tesla is is it went from really OP to really up <laughs> really underpowered guys i don't think the tesla is a good card right now and that will indirectly buff siege just like seth talked about at the opening of this video so i'm gonna say a tesla will get a buff and inferno tower will get a buff two cards that you see in siege decks here and there so i think those are the two siege buffs along with archers the third card i want to mention that fits into siege archetypes archers is not a card that you think about often at least i don't and it's not a card that you think of as underpowered needing a buff but i think that all the support cards in the game have gotten better and better and better and archers may be lingering behind just slightly and archers their number one archetype is also of course siege so i think the archers also de deserve a little bit of a stat buff what do you guys think about that archers tesla and inferno tower as the siege indirect buffs even though as you guys know personally i think the expo should get a buff itself next up we have the goblin giant goblin giant is getting there he appeared in a deck here or there i think three musketeer deck uh primarily also a sparky deck in crl however there's no doubt about it based on the use rates the average player not the crl pro still isn't going to have a ton of success with goblin giant i think maybe a little bit more of a, a health buff or maybe a little bit more dps on that goblin giant it's really not that rewarding when you get him to the tower as it should be for a six elixir investment a tanky card at that so i want to 
see a little bit more of us. Another small buff to the Goblin Giant. Next up is going to be Zappy. Zappy's another card like Tesla that went from first to worst after that nerf. They called it a rework, not even a nerf. Personally, I think that Zappies need a little bit of a buff again. They can be an annoying card when they're OP, but I don't want to make them OP. I just want to make them relevant again. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for a buff to the Zappies. I don't know. I don't know what the appropriate buff would be, guys. Maybe you guys have some ideas, but you know, at the risk of being uncreative, I'll just go ahead and say a a, a small DPS buff on the Zappies. And then uh, next up on the list, man, we're running out. I think that's everything. We got Archers, we got Tesla, we got Zappies, Goblin Giant, Inferno Tower, and Bomber. That's it. That's all I had for you guys. So what do you guys think? Usually they do eight cards at a time. I've talked about probably. 20 cards in this video. What cards did I forget about? I know, inevitably, no matter what kind of balance change video uh, I do, people are like, where's the golem and where's the hog rider, Ash? Where's the golem? Where's the hog rider? I don't th truthfully think, even though they're popular cards, I don't think that either of those win conditions personally needs a nerf. That's just my opinion. I know most of you probably disagree with me, but I have to be true to myself, right? Uh, so that's how I feel about those cards. Other cards people might mention are Royal Hogs. I think that they're really good, but I don't think that they're overpowered personally. I think that they're just good. Uh, and what else were people, oh, Royal Giant, right? Royal Giant and Elite Barbs. Royal Giant needs a nerf. Elite Barbs need a buff maybe, but at the end of the day, just as I kind of predicted, hate to say I told you so, but I still think that it's that issue, that overleveled on ladder issue. They're a nuisance and annoying and deserving of a nerf on ladder, but they're probably deserving of a buff, especially Elite Barbarians, one of the worst cards in the game at tournament level standard. So where are you buffing? Who are you catering to when you're balancing this game? Those cards for me will always be in a separate box. The box called, I don't know what the do to those cards like I don't I don't know how to fix those cards other than converting them to rare uh, or doing something really drastic like a really big rework so if you guys have any answers on those cards I'm all ears can't wait to see your opinions in the comments below hey guys thank you for watching all the way till the end of the video I really appreciate it uh, huge shout out to Bren Chong my YouTube partner check out his information in the description below thanks again and as always take care guys